off and milked out. I'm gonna doctor up that new sore on your leg and I don't know where that came from. You didn't have that when we let you out of your isolation quarters. I didn't give people a proper update on you. I didn't show them how you rejoined the herd. But you haven't been eating as much out there with them as you were when I and everybody else was sending to you in your little side bend. So you're going to have to go back to that. 
Oh, no see. Darling, let's drink this fast. Not too fast. Don't give yourself a belly ache. I gotta get home and do some more work in the greenhouse. I don't have time to film all the calf chores. Feeding all you guys down here. All the milk and cows. I gotta finish the cages around my plants. I gotta pick cucumbers. But in my last video, everybody got to meet you two, you youngest ones that came in out of the field. One of you didn't want to drink a bottle. Well, it's been a couple days, a few bottles later. Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Watch it. You caught on quick. have an episode be all about my plants. Maybe some people would like that. But not everybody would. Everybody likes calves. Maybe not everybody likes my medicine. That's all right. part of life. So I figure why not show it? Good, bad, and the ugly. There's not going to be a whole lot of dairy farming stuff in this video. I couldn't find my belt. My pants keep falling down. I'm already YouTube's most awkward farmer. Without all my stupid wardrobe malfunctions. People are going to think I'm doing it on purpose. Well anyway, here's a farm update for him. You're back in here. I forgot to film how... You, you rejoined the herd. I mean, you were featured like, what, two, three episodes ago? Showed you in here taking care of you because you wouldn't get up out of the field. And then you did get up and you were limping. And we didn't know what was wrong with your hips. Fractured, broken, something like that. But then you got a little bit better. And you've been in the herd for, oh, it's been probably a week or two. But then your limp started getting bad again and you lost some weight, and you got a sore on your foot. And Farmer Joe told me to stop filming the sad stuff around here. Just keep it pleasant, don't make no drama. I said I was gonna try to film the good, the bad, and the ugly, but you know, you still might have a happy ending. He said this weekend that in hindsight, he should have sold you. When you were in here and got a little bit fattened up, should have taken you to the, the, the stockyard, you know, while you can still walk in on your own. So unless you make a drastic turnaround now, gain a bunch of weight, your milk production gets back up. Excuse me. You fix your foot. 
He says he's going to try to put a little bit of weight back on you and then just sell you. So I guess we'll see. All right, I got to go home and get some stuff done in the greenhouse. Good talk. you were here. Hang on, I'll be with you in a minute. Let me throw these rags in the wash for milking. I need to eat some lunch real good. You need lunch too. You want some grain? All right, hang on. I'll be right back. Well, if folks have been hanging out for a while and paying attention on my channel, they would have known how we get calves from the farm, bring them here, our little homestead, and they mow the lawn. So I'm kind of busy, and there's a lot of lawns around here. Yeah, the camera is rolling. Oh, you thought I just filmed you guys down at the farm? No, I film here too at my house. I got some gardens. I like them a lot. So I've been trying to show a little bit of my gardens too, not just you friends down at the farm. <laughs> well, so this weekend, either here or down there, you probably heard Farmer Joe talk about selling the farm. I don't know how to talk about it on my channel, so I just haven't. And then what am I going to do? That's what he wants to know. That's what I want to know. You, ah, you're really attracting the flies, you know that? Gotta eat something and get some work done in the greenhouse. It's really getting hot out though. We had a nice couple of days where it wasn't 90 degrees. I might have to wait till this evening until it cools down in the greenhouse. So I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do. I know my show will go on, but if there's no farm here, too awkward for this narration bullshit. I don't know what to say about this. The farm might not be here. And then what? The end of Polly's Michigan memoirs? Can't just go on living here forever, living with my boss. I mean, who does that? Unless it's a farm situation. But if there's no farm... So I told Farmer Joe I might retreat a couple steps further into the Northwoods, take over my dad's fort, start my own farm, make a new Garden of Eden, even better than the last one. Probably not as good as the original. I will farm, or I will homestead, or both, one way or another. I am a Michigan. I am descended from voyagers, pioneers, fighters, survivors, the greatest of all the United States of America that built the greatest city in the world. My show is just getting started. It's kind of my family. It's not my family farm. So why am I trying to explain all this to my channel? I milked your mama this morning, about 55 others, just like I milked their mamas and their mamas before them. I probably milked your great-great-grandma by now, as long as I've been working around here. And I don't know how to quit. It ain't supposed to be about all doom and gloom and complications. Farmer Joe thinks I'm half-joking that I'm going to retreat to my dad's fort. It, it's not an actual fort. It's just a house he built in the woods. But it's kind of on a hill, and it's got this fence that he built around it that looks like there could be a really cool fort in there. So I call it his fort. I could turn it into anything. And Farmer Joe thinks I'm half-joking. Viewers will probably think I'm half-joking. Well, it turns out viewers want to know a little bit about the vlogger behind the scenes, and I don't know what to tell them. 
Huh? Yes, this is a village life channel with a focus on farming. This ain't no soap opera. This ain't no dumbass reality TV show where people get to argue in the comments about what's real, what's not, what's going to happen next. Think the frickin' Kardashians? I've watched enough international village life community on YouTube to know that it's about time an American came in jazz things up. American village life ain't dead yet. If they just keep pushing them likes, I guess we're all gonna fuck around and find out. But as of today, I'm the only one that was available to milk the cows this morning. And tomorrow, and probably the next day. We're gonna do what we've always done, one day at a time. One step at a time. I gotta go back to work. already tied together. I don't want the sharp points sticking up if I can help it. Two sharp points on both sides. Okay.
legit. Should have done this a month ago. So I really need all of these plants and they're going to get a lot bigger too. You have no idea how much product I'm going to legally get off of these medicine plants. So do, do I smoke this much? No. That's not the point. I want pretty plants. Oh shit. The show goes on. wasn't rolling and I dropped that on it and broke it even more. It's all right. Um, I think a little bit of it will still grow. Sometimes I wonder what the old me say. If she could see the way shit is today. Probably say that everything is gay. Like happy. What's my name? What's my name? Ah. Abra, Abra, Cadabra. Out to reach in my back, bro. Abra, Abra, Cadabra. starting to rain.
What are you doing? Are you ready to go to bed? I don't know how you keep getting out. Skitty, over here.